What up guys, how we doing? JYD coming at you with another video. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we are going to be discussing general specialities. Now, general specialities, they really are important. So, let's delve into this. Let's just have a look at generals. And we can see the sort of specialities they've got. So, these are what you call the specialities, right? They add extra buffs. Now, the buffs change depending on the generals that you're using, the general that you have. That's why specific generals end up better than others. Because not only do they have the base skill here, they have better specialities. So, when you're in towards late game and you start maxing out all the specialities... They're the ones that are going to make the difference. It's the specialities, really. Because that's the ones that add up to get a much better attack, defence, whatever it is you're requiring from that general. Now, you unlock general specialities at level 25. Now, with specialities, you don't want to be just doing them on any gen. You want to make sure that it's a general that is going to be your, what you call a forever gen. Or at least one you're going to have for a very long time, because realistically speaking, you're not likely to be able to do much on them unless you coin a lot. The big coiners, they can do quite a few, right? People like me and probably you, who don't coin so much, as you can see, I, I coined a bit up to K30, then I stopped. That's the way it works, so I don't have a lot of rune stones. I've managed to save up quite a few, but I've barely used them. Yeah? And these are important, so if you start wasting them on generals, if I went into my generals, started wasting them on, just picked up a buy bars. Let's pick up a one that actually has a specialities unlocked. So like that, if I started wasting them, on buy bars. Sure, I might get some buffs, but is it going to be worth it? When I max his skills out, is it going to be worth it? You've got to think about this, because in all likelihood, the runes that I've got here, I'm only probably going to be able to... If I'm not even going to have enough to max out one general. And I've been saving for months. That's really something you need to think about when you look at specialities. So you need to, you need to work out, is it a general that you want to keep forever? And you've got a key of, uh, at least a priority, really. You've got Archer General. Something that you're going to need to do your specialities on. Then after that, you're looking at maybe Wall Gen. Once you've got your wall gen in place, what you'd call your forever wall gen, something you're really happy with, you're not going to switch out for a long time, get the specs up so you've got your better defence. Then you've got your ground gen, you've got your cab gen, later on you'll have your siege gen. You know, that's five generals that you need to do. And I know you've got to start to think... Where on earth do we get these from? Where do you get the rune stones from? Now, you can get rune stones from a different methods. I believe you can get them in events through just doing well on the quests, right? But one of the main ways you can get them... Let's have a look here, see if I've got... I don't think I've got any on here. See if I can find one. Oh, here you go. So you get them on defences. Don't mind that, that was just me raining someone for a server, server. Get myself some easy points. But, um, so, you can get them on defences. And that's one of the main ways you're going to come across them, unless you coin. 
So you, uh, what happened is, I believe it's something like if both sides lose over 30 mil power, there is a chance of getting the runes, rune stone chest drops. At the same time as getting the lucky stone drops. So that's your best way of getting them. So as you grow bigger, you will start to gain more. When you take part in battlefield, stuff like that, you're going to start to take more pretty much with every hit you do. With every defence you take, you're going to start to take them. Which means you're able to start building them up like this. Which means, you know, I have a... Well, I consider my forever gen for now because I'm not likely to get better. In all fairness, I don't coin, I don't buy the packs. I'm not likely to get better than Moto. As you can see, his gear... I don't have much on him. I'm just waiting to unlock the uh, Forge 33 so I can get arc boots, ring, and the pants. And for some reason, the helmet does not want to drop, but that'll be going Aries. As you can see, though, look here, I've started on his. Because he's going to be an important one. He's the first one I want to do. And the way you do this, so the first one costs so much. Half of that, so 200 gems and 20 rune stones, right? Use it. Yep. Don't show this again today, blah, blah, blah. I can click it. And that's how you do it. All you need to do. Obviously, you need the gems, you need the stones. I do have the stones to take him up. What I would not, what I would advise is to not use the lucky stones. So what these do is he double. They have a chance of doubling the XP gained. So, as you can see, I do have 89. I haven't used a single one. But what you'll notice is if you go back to specialities on him, what you'll notice is you can unlock these, right? Now these rune stones are the easiest ones to get for these three. So these three here. Once you've got them fully completed, you can then go on to this one, which is the last one, which requires these ones. The Glory of Warrior rune stone. Right? These are the hardest to get. So my recommendation, is to save up all your lucky stones till you get to this point. Because they're going to be the hardest to come by. And then use your lucky stones on that. To try and get that as far up as possible. And then once you've maxed it out. Let's find more to in there. So once I've maxed him out. He will give me 10%. 20%, 30%, 76%, right, percent extra attack once I've maxed out with specialities. That's how important it is. It's also important to make sure you're choosing the right one, though, because I could pick anyone. Oh, let's do his specialities. I'm going to waste them, aren't I? Because I don't have enough. You don't collect enough. There's not enough places to get them. And say, stuff like Battlefield, taking big hits, big defences, doing big hits, that's your best chance to collect rune stones. In Battlefield as well, I believe, I don't know if it's it Bog or Bok, it's one of them. You get to, uh, you get some as a reward. You get a couple of hundred. They build up over time, but realistically, you've still not got enough. So be careful who you choose to do the specialities of and make sure you, that you're doing it on the one you want to keep. So that's all I've got for specialities right now. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you uh, subscribe, hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below what you think and who, who your forever gens are. Peace out. Thank you.